Helping Contractors Make More Money and Live Better Lives by Greg Vandenberg. Sometimes you bid a project and you miss something simply because it's not on the plans. You've looked at the plans, you've figured the job, you bid it, but the city, building department, planning department, the people you're working for, the project manager, whoever, wants you to do something and doesn't want to pay you for it. Um, don't do it. Do not go down this path. You've signed a contract for this. Do not let them add stuff into your project. No matter what type of temper tantrums they throw, no matter how mad they get, no matter how many times they threaten you, if they are threatening you to, to, because, because they want to intimidate you into doing something that's not a part of your contract, something that you were not aware of, nobody told you about, um, uh, simply ask them if you would like to, re if, to, if they could release you from the contract. You know, don't put up with people lying to you or trying to manipulate you. This stuff costs you money. Now, I'm not suggesting that you get irrational here. Let's just say that you've been working for this contractor for 10 years. And you've already made um, six hundred thousand dollars of pure profit working for these people. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Try to work something out with them that'll benefit both of you. If you're in a position to where you've made a lot of money and they're asking for something that's only going to cost you a hundred dollars, you're going to need to use a little common sense here. Put, go ahead and do this for them for, for free. This isn't rocket science. If you're working for someone new, this could lead to other problems. This is just the start of this. This isn't what you wanna uh, end up doing. You can always do the thing that's gonna cost $100 and tell them that the next time you do anything, you're gonna need to be paid for it. This wasn't part of your contract and you're not interested in doing favors because you're in the business to make money. And do not forget that. Part of my book, 501 Contractor Tips, is to um, get contractors thinking about ways to make money. How can you make money, improve your business, and improve your life as a contractor? That's what this book's all about. It has a lot of tips in there for everyone. This tip that I'm telling you right now isn't in there. It in, might be disguised as something else. Actually, I could tell you what it is, is they got me on this, is um, sometimes when you're building a house today, the building department might have you put up a snow fence, which is an orange net, a plastic orange netting that's about three foot tall, and they want you to put it up around the property. Well, if you had a big enough property, this could cost you a small fortune. So again, these are things you can't do. If it's a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, you know, depending on what you feel, you can and can't do within reason. Do it if you um, think it's going to be beneficial to you. If it's going to cost too much money, um, you can't afford to do it. You can't afford to eat all your profit up by putting something up at the beginning of the job or doing something. You need this cushion for the entire project, and of course, it's not fair to you as a contractor either. So don't get caught up in someone else's problems. And this is a good example of someone else's problems. Visit some of our other websites today if you're interested in finding more helpful information on construction.